All right. Late, late, late evening and the Sunday conclusion for the IHSA quarterfinals 2018. I am Peter Lionwilber, a.k.a. Coach Big Pete. Uh, please visit deepdishfootball.com as usual. Please follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook. I'm also on Instagram under Coach Big Pete. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them via email, coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. Coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. So, <clears throat> we are now finished with the quarterfinals. The semifinals are starting up. Um, the Deep Dish Football Game of the Week for the semifinals is Nazareth versus Batavia at Nazareth. It's going to be a hell of a game. Can't wait. So, let's get started and go over some of the games. Okay. So, Lena Winslow beats Aurora Christian. Um, I had Lena Winslow beating Aurora Christian, but I didn't realize it was going to be that bad. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a closer game. But again, much respect to Aurora Christian. They're going to be good next year. Um, Ethan Hampton at a quarterback. You should definitely keep an eye out for this kid. He's a hell of a quarterback. Lena Winslow, they're looking good. Really good. Um, especially... I think that a lot of people, a lot of people <clears throat> don't want to give Lena Winslow's uh, offensive line credit that is due. Their offensive line is very good. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the semifinal. All right. Uh, Argento Oriana beats Central AM. I don't think that was much of a surprise. Uh, Forreston beats Dakota in a tough game. Congratulations to Forreston, and congratulations to Dakota. And I've said this numerous times, uh, Coach Frey in Dakota, he's doing good things with that team. And Dakota, they're, they're there almost. They're going to be there almost. I'm going to say it right now. Um, Coach Frey is definitely on the upper echelon. I consider him a top small school coaches in the state of Illinois. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what Dakota does next season. <clears throat> and I have Forrest. And Forreston, Forreston's Forreston. Um, when Fuchs and Barklow graduated, I thought it was going to be an okay year for Forreston, but they're back. All right. Um, 2 a Gibson City beats Sterling Central Newman 27-12. to Not surprised by that. Um, Gibson City is just unbelievable right now. EPC beats Orion. Not surprised by that score either. Uh, Decatur St. Teresa beats Tri-Valley, not surprised. I don't think a lot of people were surprised by that. And Merrill Forsyth uh, beats Tuscola very big. So, uh, two ways looking interesting. I think what's going to be interesting is EPC versus Gibson City. It's going to be a great game to look at towards the future. Bryan beats Lyle handily, no surprise there. Hersher beats Mammoth Roseville, surprise. Um, so, Hersher's going to be playing Bryan. Uh, Monticello beats Greenville. Carlinville beats Williamsville. Monticello versus Carlinville is going to be a huge game in the state of Illinois for the 3A semifinal. IC beats Marengo. Great game. Um, impressed. Impressed with Marengo. Um, I was just shocked at the space they were carving up of IC. Um, IC took it down to the second half. And they took all control. But it very impressive for Marengo and that team. They're going to be doing some good things uh, later on in these years. Keep an eye out for that Marengo football program. Um, Richmond Burnham beats Cole City. Congratulations to Cole City on a great season. Um, they're going to be back next year. Rochester beats Taylorville. I don't think that was much of a surprise. And Bishop Mack beats Effingham, which sets up Bishop Mack versus Rochester. Should be a good game. For 5A, Montini beats Evergreen Park. No surprise there. Sterling beats Rockford Boylan. I don't think anybody was surprised by there. Sterling versus Montini is going to be a good game. Hillcrest wins. Julia Catholic wins. Hillcrest versus Julia Catholic. Another good game in the 5A semifinal. Treat Moni beats Washington. Richards beats Normal West. Crete Moni versus Richards. Kerry Grove beats Phillips in a tough game, but congratulations to Kerry Grove. Um, what more can you say about Kerry Grove? I think they're, I think they're destined in the 6A. Um, 
Niles Notre Dame beats Antioch. Niles Notre Dame goes against Cary Grove. That's going to be another good game. 7A, Nazareth beats Simeon. Okay, here we go. Um, this was a tough fuck game. Um, last plays of the game. There was some controversy. The refs blow some calls. Yes, I. From what I've seen, yes. Um, it does it suck the way that it ended? Yes, it is absolutely horrible that the way the game ended. No doubt about it. Um, both teams played their butts off, especially Simeon. Simeon had a, a great season, and Simeon deserves all the respect in the world for what they did this season. Unbelievable to beat Phillips, and then last uh, was last week. Big win to it. Simeon deserves accolades like it's nobody's business for this season. They did a hell of a job. And my hats off go to Simeon and Coach Culbreth, he and that coaching staff and those players. Just talk those just great group of players Simeon has. Um, it sucks. It, I really do think it's horrible. I think it. I think it's bad that it ended up that way. So Nazareth will go on, which Batavia beat Willowbrook. Um, congratulations to Batavia on a big win. Uh, Willowbrook, another team that had a great season. Um, but is, does it, is, it, is, it, is it a crappy way that it ended? Yes, for Simeon and Nazareth. No doubt about it. Mount Carmel beats East St. Louis. St. Charles North beats Wheaton Warrenville uh, South. Mount Carmel will be playing Wheaton Warrenville South. Congratulations to East St. Louis on a great season. Congratulations to Wheaton Warrenville South on a great season as well. 8A, Brother Rice beats Warren. Marist beats Homewood Flossmore. Marist will take on Brother Rice in a, a revisit from the first week game, which Brother Rice won. And Lincoln went East, Pounds, Edwardsville. Loyola beats Main South, so it's going to be Loyola uh, versus Li uh, Lincoln Way East. So, um, we'll see you on a great season. Lyle, uh, Lyle Lyons, great season. Congratulations to Coach Parpet. Well deserved. Um, <clears throat> my, I'm not, I'm going to be nice. I'm not going to swear. I promise. <sighs> my thing right now with the whole Simeon Nazar situation is that it's, it, it, it's bad. I, I think I think it's bad, and I feel sorry for those Simeon kids. I really do. Um, on the other side, and I want to talk about this too. Um, again, small schools, you guys are good. Your fans are good. Big schools. Where are your fans? Where the where are the fans? Are the fans going to show up? Because um, literally, there's some there were some empty seats. There were some empty seats in a lot of the big school games. Uh, a lot of the writers have talked about it. A lot of the bloggers have talked about it, uh, especially on the, in the on the radio too. Um, is it this is this part of the future? Yes. Um, could you go see the game on television or a webcast? Not on television, but on a webcast. Yes, no no doubt about it. You can see it on a webcast. Is it worth the money sometimes because it, the webcast is a little bit j janky from it? Uh, the certain service that does all this stuff, yes. Should the, should the broadcast be winding out? Should televisions be able to carry it? Yes, I agree. Um, should more TVs participate in broadcasting high school football? Yes. But fans need to show up for the game. Have some school pride. Uh, even alumni show up. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's bad. It's it's really bad when you have a uh, Small school teams uh, that have more fans at, at for a visiting game than a regular school team for an 8A school and a home thing. It, it sucks. It sucks. Could, could it be improved? Yes, it could. So that's just my only complaint. So semifinals, here we go. IHSA semifinals, deep dish football game of the week is going to be at Nazareth as Nazareth takes on Batavia. Make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com if you have any questions. 
Uh, if you like my work, feel free to leave a tip via PayPal. The link is on the bottom. Keep this football live this Thursday at 8 p.m. Thank you so much. And all of you guys have a great, well, it's almost going to be morning pretty soon. Uh, but enjoy this Sunday conclusion.